Hey everybody and welcome to The Starting Line. If you're unfamiliar with this series, it's probably because I haven't made one in about a year. Look back through the playlist and you'll see I've done about five of these episodes. The goal of the show for me was as a comic book sort of aficionado, there were many characters long established that I had never learned anything about. And I didn't know quite where I could start reading about those characters. So I started this series as a fun way to kind of inform myself and hopefully help some of you that might be wanting to read about those same characters. So stick around tonight and you might find out what my new character is going to be. That's right, I'm talking about The Flash, the classic DC superhero from the Justice League and many others. Now is your chance to learn a little bit about that character. The question became right off the bat, which Flash was I going to talk about? Turns out there were a lot of characters named The Flash, all the way back to January of 1940, when DC first introduced a character called The Flash, this one with the alter ego of Jason Garrick, also called Jay. This character was known for his silver hat and, uh, and definitely not the style of character we became maybe knowledgeable about later on. The second version of The Flash is the one maybe most often known as The Flash, and that would be Barry Allen, the forensic scientist who becomes a superhero. He first appeared in Showcase number 4 in October of 1956. But then, of course, there were other Flashes as well, most notably Wally West, who appeared only two years after Barry Allen, and he became known as Kid Flash, and later The Flash himself. Wally West first appeared in The Flash, issue 110. Now, those were a lot of great characters, and, and a lot of really awesome storylines you could dig into. For me, The Flash will always be Barry Allen first, and I wanted to find what would be a great starting line for Barry Allen. I'm going with the DC Rebirth version of Barry Allen, written by Joshua Williamson. For those that don't know, Joshua Williamson has been writing The Flash for a really long time, and most recently did the Year One storyline that I enjoyed so much from earlier in 2019. The DC Rebirth storyline began back in August of 2016, and the trade that you can buy, which is the one I'm telling you to pick up, would be volume number one. This trade is called Lightning Strikes Twice, which would collect DC Rebirth Flash number one, and then Flash issues one through eight. This tells the storyline of, of Barry Allen, and it gives a little bit of his backstory, which is great for someone jumping onto the character and the story, but also sets up a brand new dynamic with a, an exciting new villain named Godspeed, and deals with the issues that Barry Allen faces when a city full of superheroes emerges, all having the same Flash-like powers. What is it that Barry Allen can do to fix this? And how will people react to having these abilities? Will they all turn into heroes like Barry Allen? Or is it possible some of them could be used again for mischief? I found this storyline to be riveting, really exciting, lots of great twists and storyline moments. And for me, even some fun key spec value if that's what you're interested in. If you go into the Key Collector app and start really looking at the Godspeed character and the, the first appearances, it's a mess. But all of them occur in these nine issues here in this Volume 1 trade, Lightning Strikes Twice. The DC Rebirth Flash one-shot is considered his first cameo. Then you have Flash Rebirth number one, which is considered the second cameo. And then you have his first full appearance in issue five, because he's on several panels and speaks. And then his first full appearance with cover, cover appearance, is issue number six. All of them have varying degree of value, but I would say as a collector and as a, someone who likes to save a dollar, don't overpay. Most of these books should be relatively cheap and you should not be paying $10 or more for any of them. T take your time, find the issue you want. My guess is you will find that, that the right book for you is not going to break the bank. 
But more importantly, this is a great trade. The trade on Amazon costs you only $13. It's a really, really good price. I think you get a whole lot of comic book, nine issues. And more importantly, it's a really, really fun starting line where you can see this character of Barry Allen as the Flash uh, in an exciting new story while at the same time getting background that lets you know a little bit about who he is. The, the villain of Godspeed I thought was really riveting. I thought the backstory was exciting. The twists and reveals were exciting. And I think for somebody new to The Flash like myself, this was a great starting line. Thanks for hanging around and watching my newest starting line. I'm sorry it took so long to make. I, apparently it took a hit to the head for me to really come around to the idea that I need to do more of these videos. I want to shout out a few people who made this one kind of a reality for me. Of course, my boy Rod, just a reekin' in his comics, giant Flash fan, and he's been waiting for this. And then I talked a lot with Steve over at Burke Family, and I, I really do think he's got a really great mind for this sort of stuff, and he helped me collect these issues. So I recommend those two channels and those two guys. Uh, if you have a starting line character you want me to pick up on and you want me to read and, and learn a little bit about, please drop that down below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to catch you all again soon.